Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you an interesting trick and a weird trick at the same time, which is how to create screen projection textures or textures that are using your static meshes as basically screens for the same texture, which is then literally projected on them as if they were coming from a portable projector or some stuff like that or a movie cinema projector that is then ideally and perfectly presenting those textures on the same surfaces. Now this is kind of weird, so I'm going to create a normal texture and I'm going to create a screen projection texture that will show you how this kind of setup differs. So first of all, we're going to create a normal material, which is going to be simply norm pro, let's call it no, norm no pro, uh, fantastic name, a completely fantastic name and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to again right click and choose texture sample and I'm going to take a really specific texture here and it's going to be uh, a sample uh, that not font sample it's going to be texture sample here it is that's going to be a tiled type of tile texture that is really bright and uh, ceramic tile texture you have it in your starter pack and I'm going to connect it to my base color and I'm going to save it takes a while to set up and have the same texture ready or material better said and you're going to see how it looks like in the regular setup and here we have it it's wrapping around the same object and it's going to do the same in the game world now i'm going to do the same but use the texture the projection texture option again i'm going to create a material called call it projection i'm going to open it up as well i can close this and first of all i'm going to use another node before the texture sample node that is going to do the same element or provide the same ability. That element is screen position node as you can see here and the key element is viewport UV. So from here on out I'm going to add a texture sample. Here it is. And I'm going to choose again that tiled ceramic tile option, which again I'm going to connect to the base color. And I'm going to save it, allow it a minute or two seconds <laughs> to, to load or get prepared, and you're immediately going to see it in action. So the sample. The text sample is the same, but as you can see, it's completely different. It stays fixed no matter how I try to move around it. Now let's see that in action. So we have our projection and norm no projection. We're going to place these on these two static meshes. First the norm and here is the texture, then the projection. From this perspective, it looks basically the same, but let's try it out in the game. Here we are. And here it is. This texture is fixed, it's wrapped around the object, but this texture is moving as if it is getting projected from my position of my player character and player character camera. As you can see, if I move, just follow the yellow squares. As I move, the yellow squares move up. As I move the camera or viewport down, the yellow square moves down. So yeah, it's a really weird effect actually, but there are different uses for it that can be applied in a range of different kind of game design setups. They're not actually that intuitive, but it's really interesting to see how you can get that effect in just a single node in Unreal Engine, which again shows just how good this Unreal Engine and the whole setup it offers is. So there you have it, screen projection texture it's right there. And of course, you can now modify it in the same editor with different elements, multiply it, change it, uh, modify its size, even add things like rotations that allow it to move, which would be kind of good for 
let's say if you have a character who's getting kind of a psychic message and then the same message is getting kind of presented over some screen or some surface, this would be a good move it kind of not just the movement on the screen but a good trick to set it up and have it in your level so there you have it thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this video interested if you did please subscribe to my channel there is a bunch of ways how you can support me i have a patron page where you can pitch a buck or two per month to help me keep going i sell books on amazon you can send me money directly through paypal and crypto and everything and anything that pays money is great for me but probably not that great for you However, the thing that's great for me, but cheap and free for you is to simply subscribe, like this video and leave a comment if you might have any questions or simply want to get in touch. That's all for me. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Ivica. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Bye bye.